Despite the rough winter and record-breaking snow, softball season has returned. And the squad this past week played a scrimmage game against Hudson at the Fruit Street Fields. The high school fields may not be ready, but head coach Dennis Baker Jr. is certainly ready for the season to start. We have a lot of returning players. The girls we have coming back are a lot of solid returning varsity girls. And the one thing about this town, we, we've had great softball here since long before I got here. Um, so, so we don't, we, we just kind of reload here at Hopkinton. We're going to have to break a few new girls in, but we feel really good about the team we have coming back. Now, uh, watching this game today, uh, a couple big hits uh, I saw, and you're getting the uh, young players a chance to get in there as well. It, it must be good to be able to have this facility where you can have these scrimmages and be ready for the season. Yes, at least we know, uh, you know, kind of what we're dealing with because we're out here playing game situations. Uh, we come down here to practice once or twice a week also. Uh, we get a lot done in the gym for our practices, but you really can't simulate the game unless you're out here in an open field, um, especially outfielders, the way the ball comes off the bat, seeing who can track a fly ball. So we're really lucky to have this facility. A lot of teams, you know, if they have a turf field at their school, they have to share it with five or six other teams. We're really lucky to have uh, use of this facility. And it, and it really has helped us. You can see the difference between last week when we first came out here and now till today, we've really grown a lot in just five or six days. Uh, certainly, and now a bit of a different schedule situation uh, this year with all the snow. It kind of pushed the high school season back two weeks. Uh, could be more depending on when all this snow melts. Uh, but you were uh, mentioning before that there's going to be pretty much uh, every Hockamock team playing over at the Medway uh, turf fields. Uh, how, does, how do these uh, schedule changes uh, affect your team? Does it make it a little tougher to prepare? I think it does make it a little tougher, and we will see at the end of the season when, when all these games have been moved to the end. They talked for a little while about playing a 14-game season, but the MIA moved the cutoff deadline for the tournament back a week, which should help us a little bit. But, um, you know, I, I, we'll probably have some rainouts in May, and we'll be playing seven out of eight days in late May. Uh, I'm just lucky it's this sport and not baseball that I used to coach, where we can just kind of roll the same girl out every day and not have to worry about arms. Um, but it definitely presents, you know, a, a big challenge, especially early in the season. You know, just the uncertainty, really, of when we're going to play. Because we have that first day over in Medway. But other than that, you know, maybe our fields will be ready after that, and maybe they won't. Right, and uh, speaking of uh, rolling the arm out there every day, Juliet Hume expected to uh, be the main pitcher uh, for the Hillers this year. How's she looking so far in the early goings? Uh, she's looking good. She's looking just what we would expect from Juliet. She really came on about midway through last year um, and really created a nice duo between her and Alyssa. And, you know, Juliet gained a lot of experience. She had a big save against the state champion Bellingham Blackhawks. She won two of our tournament games in relief. So she really gained a lot of experience, uh, and she's ready, I think, to show the league, you know, what she has. I think a lot of people might breathe a little sigh of relief because Alyssa Cardinal's gone, but when they see Juliet come out, um, they, they might wish that Alyssa was back. <laughs> uh, now, speaking of um, uh, last year, you went to the playoffs, had a good run. Your father, though, with the Bellingham uh, Blackhawks, won a state championship. Has there been a little uh, nagging going on throughout the off season? A little bit. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a great honor for him. It took him 40 years almost between coaching baseball and softball to win a state title. He probably should have a couple more, but I don't like to, you know, ride him too hard about that. But, um, you know, it, I told him he probably should retire. The day I win a state title, I might leave the field and never come back and go out on top. But he's coming back. Uh, I don't think he would know what else to do with himself except coach. Um, so it's a great honor for him. I was there rooting them on. Some of the girls are shocked that I actually root for Bellingham, but I went to all their tournament games, uh, rooted really hard for them in each and every one. But now that the season has started in the Tri-Valley, uh, we, we hope to beat them again. I've been here two years. We've played four times, and we've each split um, You know, each year one and one. We were last year the only team to beat them. They were 26-1, and one, and we were their only loss of the season. So we do take a lot of pride in that. We know they'll be a, a tough challenge. They lost a lot of girls, but like they're kind of like us. They they just they don't rebuild. They reload. Uh, so we know it's going to be a, another fierce battle with them, like it always is. 
And lastly, Coach, uh, with the weather, was everything on time this year as far as training and conditioning-wise? I know you had this field available, so everything must have been pretty much on time. Pretty much. And, you know, as it goes every year, we're usually in the gym for the first two weeks anyway. Um, even without the snow, our field generally isn't ready for a couple weeks. So it doesn't feel too out of the ordinary right now. Uh, we, we've really done a good job. My assistant coach, Coach Scott Soderberg, he and I have worked together between baseball and softball for about 12 years now. We really, uh, we have a lot of efficient practices inside. We get a lot done. We really feel good about what we do and how we practice with the girls indoors. But we're right at the point now, we're getting a little bit restless. Um, but, you know, for now, it's kind of like it has been the last few years.